Hey guys, welcome to Style Class. I'm Amy, we've got Sarah today. We don't have any guitar because she's at home, like really sick, unfortunately. Blowing up chunks. She's really, you no, know, she like had food poisoning or something horrible, really bad. So, Katara, we hope that you are, um, I hope you're sleeping, so I hope you're not even commenting here. Um, but we're gonna dive right into it because we have got a lot of things to cover today, and the conversation is about long-range planning mm -hmm. for your wardrobe. So, you're more of a planner than I am. Yeah. <laughs> like, no doubt. No, just, I think, like, really, I think, fashion-related and very, very specific in yeah. terms of, like, what I'm going to buy. And that really spans from, like, when I see it yeah. and then until I eventually get it. Or if not, um, yeah. then I move on. But and, and I'm not. I tend to fly by the seat of my pants yes. a little bit more. But I think that whether you're, you really are someone who is very meticulous and plans things out, or whether you do just kind of wing it, mm -hmm. the bottom line is that when you are doing it with a lot of knowledge, you're doing it with some safety. And I mean, it's clothing, so it's not super high risk, but it is our money and we yeah. do want to spend it wisely. We want to invest it in the right places. We know that we want to get wear out of everything that we've got. So what I asked you guys to do is to send me the items that you went online, you looked at the new arrivals, and you had the most questions about how will I wear it? What will I add to my wardrobe? Mm -hmm. What do you have coming in the future that's going to work well? Totally. So let's jump right into it. And Sarah, why don't you go first? Because this was something a lot of people asked about. Yeah, so a lot of people asked about the tuxedo shirt, mm -hmm. which is funny because it was one of those pieces that you, me, and Tracy were all like, it doesn't matter, we just love it. Yeah. Like there was no, no one was like, I'm not sure. We were like, yeah. how many colors can we have this in? I'm pretty sure Tracy and I both have yeah. the one dropped color. <laughs> exactly. Um, and, and the idea with it, if you come a little bit closer, was we wanted a shirt that could just kind of tell a story on its own. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm wearing the terry cloth baby tee yep. that I love, but the baby tee is more of a, like, you know, it's a bit of texture to mm -hmm. give, like, friction, and you mix it up with, like... Totally. It's definitely a little bit more of a layering piece than yes. the supporting the supporting figure, yeah. like the cotton nylon, yeah. for example. Yeah. But this, I think, is really, like... The star player yeah. um, and it's one of those pieces that you know if you're gonna wear it I think everything else has to be like pretty toned down you don't want to be all like David Byrne yeah will you it. step back because like you what I love is you are wearing a shoe that's a statement mm -hmm. but it's not a pink shoe no it's you know like you're still giving none yeah here yeah I think so um, yeah and so I mean obviously this is the navy version this is definitely the most muted of the three and definitely I'm sure in most people's wheelhouse um but for me when I saw this shirt I knew that it was something that would easily work into yeah. my closet because of like the fundamentals that I have so I'm wearing it with the uh, indigo denim brand koozie in the longer length and uh, I'm, I'm wearing the indigo size 27 sit yep. in the longer length here and yeah. can I just see something? I want to see, this is, um, so this is a silk nylon this season, mm -hmm. and um, it really, the silk content is giving it a lot of shine. And it's funny because sometimes we joke and we're like, well, how many different nylons can we have? Yes. This is one that like the minute you put it on, it was. Uh, I mean, I remember very vividly the minute that, I, that, you, that you put on the prototype, in I think it was, was it in black or was the front in black? I don't know. Or, or, navy, or it was in navy yeah. and you had that on and the skirt and you were just in your office and I was like, that. that's it. Like that's like yes. that is the crux of the collection. And you were like, how many colors can we have it in? And Tracy was like, what <laughs> do you mean how many colors? Yeah, and I think this is one when we talk about long range planning, for me, like I know navy is something I never have to think about for me, right? And so I, I'm never gonna have to think about questioning this in my closet because it's gonna always work with all the other things. Totally. Can I go put on yeah. the gray suiting that everyone's been asking about? And yeah. you can maybe like talk, talk about, about some of the other colors yeah. or whatever. All right. So 
a lot of, so obviously everyone's like, okay, well obviously I can wear that tuxedo shirt with the jean. We thought so too. We showed it three times on the runway with the blue tuck jean that closed the show. Um, but other ways that you can wear it, I mean, honestly, with the silk nylon that Amy just showed you, um, we do have a navy skirt version and a navy trouser that's um, not a Winslow and not um, a Stella or something that is super lean. Um, it's kind of like the perfect in-between pant and it's definitely a bit shorter than a Stella pant. But I here is the, I'm gonna show you guys the, the shorts version. Um, we showed on the runway a lot of our shirting tucked into various types of bottoms. Um, I really love this navy, this navy silk nylon short. What I love, honestly, the most about it, other than the elastic waistband, is that it has this kind of like runner's detail on the side. So those people that run for fun, whoever you are, um, I actually ran cross country in high school. But anyways, this detail allows for like extra movement and breathability. And I just think it also creates just like a nice shape um, so that it's not too close to the leg, but it's also not too oversized. So this tucked in and honestly, I know everyone is waiting for the sock boot. Um, I would definitely wear the Navy Borg. Uh, again, something that we showed on the runway that I really think is going to translate in real life, but the Seth sneaker is equally as great. And I think because you've got the silk nylon in the short, the ruffle of the tuxedo, which is that really added detail that I think creates a point of interest. And the sneaker, it's a really good mix of something that is fashion forward, but still like pragmatic and still um, utilitarian. And you can definitely like move around in it and go about your day and do what you need to do. In addition, Okay. No, she's in a gray story. I know. I'm in, a, I'm in the gray suit here. And um, I love the suiting so much. So what I've done is, um, in my uh, later on in my Instagram, I'm going to post so many different ways that, you know, especially um, if you are an executive uh, person and you are traveling, this suit can be broken apart in a hundred different ways and, and worn. Um, you're gonna, you'll see, you'll love it. But so I'm wearing this with the polo shirt. And so little details, guys, here that are important. Like when Sarah said, you know, we try on the prototypes, we try on the drapes, we run around. Like this was one that when we tried it on, it just was always collapsing here like this. And if you bought just a regular polo off the shelf and you know that you wanna button it up to look more put together, that little thing, going like that is going to always bug you and so something as simple as tracy coming in us recognizing that it bothered us tracy adding this little snap here like it finishes it off it gives it that bit of polish and and it becomes a game changer so that you know when you're wearing this let's pretend like you're a little miss goldman sachs and um it was funny when i was thinking about this i was like you know if you're wearing this suit People are gonna give you the money. And then I thought, why am I thinking about people giving the money? Like, if you're wearing this suit, you're the one giving out the money. So here I am in all gray, and uh, just feels so amazing. But I'm wearing the gray uh, Victors here with the pockets. And you guys know our Victors, how great they are. We love them, and gray is one of our new colors of the season, right? Gray, yeah, gray, yeah, baby blue. Yeah. Um, so we love this. So what I want to show you is the jacket, just little details, but here you've got this kind of lighter cotton lining in the contrast. Of course you have this so you can hang it up and then to never be rude, we've got this so you can actually take it off. Um, and this kind of depends on who you're with. Like, there are some friends of mine now, like when we're, we look like ring buddies when we're all out. So maybe one of us is gonna take off the ring so that we're not just total assholes walking together down the street. Not that you would be, but just in case, that's a fear. 
Um, but I'm wearing the polo shirt here, and you can see that it's really eased out and relaxed. Hey, Derek, can you hand me the gray trench coat or the tan trench coat? And so what I want to point out when we say that long range planning, there's one thing to like think about it very analytically and like grid by grid by grid. And then there's another thing just to think in terms of the principles, right? Chill, modern and classic. And when you really go for pieces that embody all of those elements at one time, then it doesn't matter if I can, you know, spontaneously look at something and name the five outfits that I can put it together with, I just know that I'm gonna have five outfits to put it together with. And actually you'll see from my post later on a lot more. Um, but then I was even thinking like, how I'll be able to wear this in Paris next week, because, you know, maybe I am a little like Goldman vibes here, but if I'm in Paris and I'm running around, just simply like, throwing on the trench coat with this and then maybe even putting on uh, the Borg here. You guys had sent in a lot of requests for how I'll be wearing the Borg and I'm going to want to wear the Borg when I want to take a look like what I'm wearing right now and just give it like an extra vibe to it, right? So I'm in Paris, it's fashion week. A few seconds ago, I looked like I'd be signing a deal, and right now, I'm really believable that I'm just going for lunch. I was going to say uh, that to stick the end, but that is no longer anymore. But anyways, it's a marathon. <laughs> are you running for fun? So anyways, I just turned this into a fashion. Right? Oh, right there she goes. There you go. We'll see you next week. Right? All right, That's I'm going to go get changed. Okay. This literally, this is just like a rotation. Um, so I thought I'd give you guys a two for one special. So I'm wearing the tuxedo shirt, shirt and a Borg. Um, so online we styled, styled the mint tuxedo shirt very similarly over a white tee with some jeans. Um, I'm wearing it right now over the white soft menswear, soft gauge, I don't know looking for someone on my team to, we'll get that <laughs> to give you the information. It's a fundamental t-shirt. Um, I really, really love it. It comes in kind of a hazel green and a mint as well. I'm wearing a size extra, extra small. And it's really just kind of that perfect in-between um, classic t-shirt and a knitwear. So I kind of feel like for me, whenever I'm wearing jeans, if I'm wearing jeans with a t-shirt, I always want something that feels a little bit more luxurious. And this um, iteration is that for me. I'm wearing the Sid jean in a short, in indigo. Um, I'm literally, uh, this is like my try on because I literally just got my spring water yesterday. Um, and I also have them snapped up in the back because I just want to show off the boot a little bit more. Um, this is the Borg boot. Oh, that's where the gray boots went. Well, <laughs> but by the way, by the way. Uh, we're going to show sizing because I, I started to rip the tag off of this because oh. I thought I had taken my tag off. Then I realized this is your extra, extra small. Oh. <laughs> and I hope I, didn't, <laughs> hope I didn't stretch it out. I'm but. sure. I mean, I don't think that's possible. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to put on a little flat action here with this. So. Um, but yeah, but anything, anyways, um, the four boot the grays has now arrived and I need to get off. Um, I really love the tan with kind of this mint or with the pink as well. And I think this is just a really good way to show how to wear the tuxedo shirt in a more yeah. casual way as more of like an over shirt. I'm definitely wearing it to the beach over a bathing suit. I low key think I'm wearing that it over a like, black slip dress oh, in yeah. the summertime. It's like, like your shacket. It is your button down. This, this has really limitless use. If you think of everything that we utilize like our classic Gabe and Charlie shirts for. That is just that, but like amped up now. Yeah, and so, you know, you, you called it a shacket, and I think like when we're talking about like Which the simple I black hate, slip, the I, I despise, right? And, but the thing is, is this one, again, is something that has like a little more um than, you know, it's okay, like it's a great vibe. You're wearing a black slip dress with like a workman shirt, mm -hmm. but this, you're on vacation, 
And you want just something one step more, right? Totally. So like if you're in cap front or something, mm -hmm. you're gonna throw this on. I love how the black would pick up on mm -hmm. a slip dress. Totally. And then I'm just wearing like the maybe this sandal in, yeah. yeah, or in black even. Um, totally. So that is, for anyone out there who wants to cover your arms to keep the sun off your arms or because whatever, arm issues, this is- This is definitely a good solution for that. Oh, yeah. and yeah, then church wear, Obviously. like things you could wear Obviously, and cover your arms. we'll get one of those hats that you setting. love so much and- <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to show, um, I'm wearing the extra, extra small. Mm -hmm. I have a small for me, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably gonna wear an extra small in mm -hmm. this because putting on this small, the arms are a little bit long mm -hmm. and I'm just under 5'5", five five, and a small is meant to fit a four to a size six mm -hmm. and an extra small is a zero size two. So this is an extra, extra small. This is a little too fitted for me. It's a little too constricted. It's not as eased out yeah, as I would for want sure. it to be. For sure. um, but just one size smaller yeah. is going to be perfect. Yeah, a little bit larger. I'm, yeah. I'm going to change like that. Okay. I feel like you're going to talk about this. Yeah, so one other thing I want to just show you is how all of these colors really work so well together. So this is the um, kind of sea foamy color in the silk. And if I'm wearing this together, I can go here with the brown or even something light like this is going to give me like a very calm, soothing look here. I can wear a white shoe at the bottom, but it gives me a little sandwich vibes and it breaks up the outfit. And I'm not so into breaking up the outfit there. And it's really interesting. One of our, um, someone who, and I, I'm forgetting the name, I apologize. She's a writer, she has a sub stack and she had commented on Tibby, she had bought the navy blue acid wash sweatshirt and pants as a set and what she was saying in her article that she wrote was that her mom was always one who wore a matching set it was her mom's vibe wherever she went she described that they would go on vacation and have like two full suitcases for the mom because everything was a matching set and that she would always show up and she'd maybe have on like a white shirt and a brown skirt just she never felt as Put together as she wanted to and then when she wore the tibby sweatshirt and sweatpants she was like wait i get it this is my mom's version of a full set and i get why it feels so good and i made the comment i was like this is an interesting conversation here this is making me think and i want to just stew on it a little bit and i did and what i realized is for her what you what you're not going to all walk around in like 60s inspired pants so that's not going to be a thing but what she was feeling when she had on the matching top and bottom was she was feeling the way you feel when you've leaned into one ton or none because her eye all of a sudden was resting in one place and the outfits that she had described before didn't know really quite where to look at something. And so for me here, you're kind of focused in on the white top, and this is definitely the definition of one. I'm not wearing a pantsuit that matches exactly head to toe, but I feel as effortless and as calm, you know, if I was. Um, so let me see, I'm gonna show you guys too. This gray is so, um, great here in this suiting because it's got a cross cross hatch to it and so what it means is whatever other colors you pick up it's going to pick up on it right away so I just had on the green and it was picking up on the green colorway and now if I were to put it on with the navy it would pick up with all of a sudden the skirt has all these blue undertones to it so when you are thinking about things for your closet and whether or not you're going to get a lot of wear out of it, something that has a lot of depth to it in the undertones is going to really work so well with the other things in your closet. It's going to play really nicely. Even if you have something like um, a black jacket or something, this gray is going to have a lot of dimension to it. I'll put it on here with the blue vest. And you know, I, I tend not to wear a sleeve out of my vest, but so let's pretend like that sleeve isn't here. 
I don't want to ruin your top by pushing it up too far. Yeah, it's okay. But you can see it just picks up on all the, I really don't like the wearing a t-shirt on your vest. But that's my thing. That is your thing. It's I know. Not, it's not, every, it's not a principle. And that's a difference. It's not a principle. It's just a thing. Because I think also every season I, I try to figure out a way to convince you otherwise. Yeah, and you're no, like, hard no. Not. Hard no. I really leaned into the tuxedo shirt, as everyone can see. Uh, Good. I now have this. This is, okay, the third color. By the way, I'm wearing an extra, extra small in all of these. Um, I loved it that much. I got all three. Um, so I'm wearing the pink here, and I really love this colorway. I think that it is super versatile. I know pink is really hard, and a color that we often do not dive into, but I am super excited about this one because it's a bit softer than um, than I think most people think. And um, I'm just gonna hold up, wow, this is really heavy, Matt. Um, the color wheel, it kind of, it's a bit lighter than this bubblegum color, just to show you guys for comparison for those who have the color wheel. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit more uh, faded, I will say, and I'm wearing it with, so we, literally sold out online of the new silk chino sids in khaki so i did not get a pair but i'm wearing them with our resort chinos these are a petite um they kind of give a very similar vibe and i actually really love the dark khaki color and i have our fundamentals washable cashmere cardigan tied around my waist like so kind of acting like a belt because they are a little bit big um but what I really love about the pink is that it really does pick up on a lot of ring three colors really well. Um, so I'm wearing this, I think that this khaki color is kind of a mix between this like yellow okra and really like a hazel green and a brown. Um, and then the shoe is really like a burgundy and I think that these are unexpected colors that I'm really excited to dive deeper in for spring. And then I know we don't subscribe to trends, but for those of you that follow fashion um on the runways we've seen a lot of burgundy for fall so i'm definitely um excited about our burgundy sock boots as well and just really i think testing the waters of bring three a little bit more and i'm just what else i can um, oh she's coming okay okay so this was um, a top that a lot of you guys asked about. Last week I was wearing the denim top mm -hmm. that ends right here. So we did two ver versions of this. We did one that um, is the sleeveless top like this mm -hmm. and it ends like just a shirt. Mm -hmm. And then we did it also as like this longer vest jacket. I'm gonna put the short, the denim one on. So oh cool, yeah. Um, so this has the little pockets here. This is absolutely one of my favorite pieces in the line. And so what I want to show you guys is um, I'm wearing, wait, will you tell, am, are these smaller size? Like, what am I wearing? Sorry guys, one second. This is size four. Size four, okay. So I'm wearing a size four. I would like to size down on a two for this for me, but that is because I have very, very narrow shoulders. And so even though I am a four and everything, when something is very much um, a little stronger fabric and has a more open armhole like this, I like to size down because it's eased out through here and it won't get too tight for me here. But if, if I wear a two, it's just gonna come in one little inch there and be better for me. Um, so I love this on its own. I'm wearing this with the Python stamped leather skirt. This skirt is incredible. And what's interesting is what makes a leather skirt more of a year round skirt. I mean, I'm not wearing this in Bali in July, but I am wearing it. I could wear this in, uh, in Europe in June for sure. But I'm gonna wear it with like a little tank top or um, I had a picture last year wearing a full black leather skirt with just like a little bralette out to dinner in Greenwich, right? So the key to wearing heavier fabrications in warmer months is that they are not tight on the body. So if we had done a black python leather skin tight pant, well, 
that that just wouldn't have happened. That wouldn't have happened. But if we had wanted to, we wouldn't have just also because it's very limiting in how many months of the year you can wear. So you can see like with the gray jacket, it's one that if you have um, bought the gray skirt here and the jacket or the gray short in the jacket, then you can absolutely wear this. This would be in your luggage when you're packing or in your wardrobe, or you could mix it up with like the green here and if I do this, I might even want to elevate the sandal here. Yes. I was going to ask a question about one ton or none inch on yeah. the, like, even maybe before you put on the shoe or with yeah. the gray uh, blazer. What are your What are your thoughts here? That's well, so here's the thing. Like, if you, um, I'm going to take the gold sandal here, which I love. Well, gold may not be. That's, a, that's enough of a crop, so well, here, I'll take white. Okay, so if I've got on my right foot here, I've got on the dark brown flat, right? So the dark brown is really kind of disappearing on my foot because you, the black is going right into the dark brown. There's not a contrast. Nothing's really being broken up in terms of the color. So here you've got these three neutrals, this like, ring three here, the black and the brown. They're all playing neutral. And then this one is a little bit brighter in intensity. White is still a neutral, still ring two, but it's a little brighter in its intensity. Now, when I've got on the white, you, you don't know really where to look. It's not a bad thing, but it's a broken up thing. And it's something that when I was talking about this writer and her talking about her mom's head to toe outfits, this is when things start to get a little more broken up, whereas this feels a little more contiguous. It's not right or wrong, but if something is bothering you, oftentimes it's because yeah. the rule of one. Okay, so you've got on the denim, so I'll yeah. show you the difference then together. So I've got on the vest version. That's the tunic. The tunic the version. Um, and then you're wearing the denim, which and the denim was, what we love about the denim too, and you know, this will swallow you for a second, Sarah, just indulge. But like, even, you can slip anything under oh, it, yeah. and you, you're able to wear a denim shirt with, like, totally. it, which is great. And so it Options. really is a perfect like, waistcoat option, and I know that that sounds kind of like old school almost, but. Um, old school's good. But that's really like what that, it really is giving that idea, I think. And we're seeing that also with some of the tricotine pieces um, in terms of the single button. Um, just for reference, um, I am wearing a size four in this vest um, because it's a sample. So typically I would probably take the double zero or extra extra small, um, but I'm wearing it with the uh, Sid jean again in the denim, in the short length, again, because I want to show off the shoes. But um, yeah, so. <laughs> I was looking for the brown twisted shirt. Oh, what else? Um, but what I, we showed this um, online, if you guys are looking up the vest, we did show it with the tuck jean in the same classic wash, which I think is like a really easy go to denim on denim. Yes, Canadian tuxedo, but I think it's definitely a little bit more interesting because it's not like a classic button down. And I also think the pieces like a chambray shirt are just also very, very wearable. Um, I decided to showcase kind of this two-tone denim idea, um, which is something that I'm a big fan of. Um, and I think that, you know, as we are really leaning into different denim washes, um, I'm definitely excited to experiment more. And I think the white tuck jean, which we've gotten great feedback on, for those of you that were able to get them, I was not. Um, I would definitely be excited to experiment with a lot of our gray pieces and the white um, and the new Victor, which is coming in a pastel blue, I think is gonna look really, really great with everything when it comes oh, out. And which like we don't have here because yeah, we're shooting little, it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that Python guy is so good. Um, so I wanted to show here the uh, the twisted shirts. So we've done this in two different colors. This is this brown, and then we've got it in a tank style as well. 
and it really does twist on the body. It's called a twisted seam shirt. And what this does is, again, we have, you know, we are like the king, right, of like the easy basic shirt, mm -hmm. the basic sweatshirt and everything. So we really were craving to take these basics now and give them like quite literally yeah. a twist. And by doing this, it's giving this skirt something even a little bit more, you know, whereas, um, you know, on its own, it's just a t-shirt. This is not just a t-shirt. Right. So you can see how it twists on the body. I'm wearing a size small in this. So it is um, a lighter knit and it's got a very, very slight rib in it, but I wouldn't, it's not like, um, it's not Rick Owens sheer. No, no, it's, it's not sheer. It's just, it's, it's really like, it's really supple and salt and like that's, really it feels very light to the touch because of that whereas I think yeah, if you guys have like our mock neck unisex t-shirt that is a just super classic cotton t-shirt if you're using that kind of as like your baseline I would say this is definitely softer and you know really thinking about these colors all together you know that when you are um, when you're investing in any piece that is in the ring three colorway. It's like most of you guys know you've got a closet that is filled with ring two and ring four. So really, you know anything that you put into that closet is gonna really level up on these ring three, um, or the ring four and ring two items. So, I mean, there, there's almost never a time that I buy a ring three, get it home, and I'm like, well, fuck. That doesn't go with anything, not a thing. Um, so I just want to show you like if I had this dark brown and the black just slipping it on over the brown here just elevates this to a whole different interesting way and um, I'm gonna see here like even you know putting on like a little silver shoe or something feels maybe there's a little too much going on I have on just the brown though I would wear I would wear the silver with just the brown. I wanna, maybe I'd wear it with the navy too. So let me try that. So I'm wearing silver. So now my one is definitely in the silver shoe. These are two sizes, two small guys. It's not a slide, don't worry. Um, so if I were to put on the blue here though, as just like a topper, if I needed it, then it, this feels very contiguous to me as well. And so what's good here is not everything needs to be like an outfit. It's really nice when you can just pull things out and things just effortlessly fall on top of each other. And I think that's what happens here like with this jacket. I'm, I'm not like necessarily saying like this is the outfit of the day, but if I'm running out the door and it is a little bit cooler than I intended, I don't have to think so hard. I'm like, well, of course, it's a little bit colder, so I will just pull out this jacket because it literally goes with everything in my closet. And that's where, um, you know, not everything has to perform at that level. Life would be really boring if you had that mandate, but when it does perform at that level, it feels pretty, you know, fantastic. Um, I also want to show you that if I was wearing the jacket here and if I was not in the office oh okay it's perfect so I would wear this together like this and then on vacation I would wear the little gold sandal and I'm gonna wear this in the sleeveless on vacation I don't want to get too hot but like this and this and so here is something that you know the silk and the shine in this like it's so simple it's it's navy and it's brown but what happens is the pop of gold and the shine in this really does put you more in a vacation mindset. Totally. And you don't feel like you've just brought your entire workload with you. I think also to cap brought. Right, but I think also like the beauty of the silk nylon is that it's the best of both worlds. Like yeah. it is the shape that you guys, that we all love and know and are familiar with. Yeah. In kind of, and in the fabrication that feels familiar, but just a step further. And like there's that newness and curiosity that I think we are all looking for. This skirt is so I cool. like it with the silver black. Can I have it with your black blazer sure. for a second? 
Um, this, uh, so this one's from Fundamentals. We have an interesting one too in the main collection this year. Yeah, but again, like here, I would probably wear like a tall boot with this yeah. for Fashion Week. Um, I just want to see what happens here because for springtime, this is kind of the new tall boot, right? Yes. I mean, I'm wearing that shoe with literally everything. Yeah. So. It's the Does, answer. That shoe is the answer. It's the answer. Like, because, yes, because that's you're a little, packing. Like, bolty, but, like, it really is. Well, and, and what it is is, like, packing for Paris. Here, come on when you're cute. But packing for Paris, like, I want to feel spring-like. Totally. But also, like, as someone who constantly looked like an asshole wearing my, like, October birthday sweater in St. Simon in 90-degree heat, and it was, like, complete mm -hmm. wool. You know, it was never, I always hated dressing yeah. out of season, and after living in Hong Kong, I hate buying oh, yeah. shoes that are too small for me. Totally. So, you know, it's... Um, but I think that's what's so great about that shoe, also, is that, like, it is just so wearable. Yeah. Like, it goes everywhere that we go. Um, so, I am mixing it up. I know, not another tuxedo shirt, mostly because we do not have a fourth color. Um, but I am wearing a Fundamentals blazer in black. In an extra, extra small, this is my size, just so you guys know. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We're, we got a lot going on here, everyone. Um, this is my size, um, and I'm wearing it over the um, silk nylon short in the gray pumice, as well as the um, circle back t-shirt in the same colorway. Um, the shirt is an extra, extra small. As we all found out, that is my size. Um, I also have the white one, which Amy was wearing earlier. And I'm wearing it with the short and the size small, so not my size, which is why they are rolled, although I'm a big advocate for that. Um, and I just wanted to also show you guys, well, I'm not gonna be able to like lift my leg that high, but the detail into short here. Um, and I'm just wearing it with like my own DIY version of a sock boot for right now. Um, just like a white ripped sock in this white bellish spot. Um, and then this is something that if it doesn't rain every day and it's not freezing in Paris, I will definitely wear in the showroom because we are constantly on the move with different appointments and also out in the market doing research. Um, I love the gray pumice color. It's kind of like my fundamental base color for the season. I think because it picks up so easily on grays and navies that there's so much to offer there. Um, I'll try on the bla the matching blazer, which I do love, but to clarify, also not my size. Um, and simply because we just haven't received, wow, this is quite good, but um, it could be a dress. Right, Matt? Matt's in fashion now. Yeah. Um, but in theory, like if I did have this in an extra extra small, I would be wearing it like this. We did show it on the runway. Um, in navy, also tucked in, which I really, really like as an easy kind of like one and done look. I think my biggest thing with um, long range planning is making sure that when I get up in the morning, it's gonna be something that I actually feel fine putting on and I don't yeah. not like, oh, that's so complicated. No, complicated. That, that's like my big, like every time that happens, I'm like, oh, yeah, I when, didn't need that. When Tracy brings things prototypes and or drapes for me to try. Like the minute I just fiddle too much, she's just like, let she's me like, get it out of here. Yeah. And and this is where, when you think about the items that you're buying, we talked earlier about Show Modern Classic. What you have to remember is, look for those elements in every piece that you're looking at buying from any brand. Because a lot of times what happens is, you, um, you think that that brand is gonna be, like you love, the style, totally. right? And then you buy it and you realize that like it had all the chill and it had all the modernity, but it was just so aggressive. Mm -hmm. Or it had all the classic and all the chill and had zero modernity. Totally. And you can't, what you're gonna find is if you think like, okay, I'm gonna buy this top and it's very classic and chill mm -hmm. with no modernity, but I'll just mix it with something really modern. Sometimes it feels like you're smashing a square into a round circle, you know? And totally. it just, it, it, even if it feels okay on you, it's not gonna land in your like highest usage list. Totally. So that's why like I wanna show um, 
this is one of the new gray, uh, again, it's just really, I can't say what color it is, so obviously it's ring three because it's not gray, it's not tan, um, it's a little fitted through here, the sweatshirt, it's it cropped. detail on the back that kind of yep. like mimics when we, you know, twist a shirt in the back and kind of like roll it up. Kind of already done that for you. So if I were, like, let's stick with our JP Morgan exec and you're traveling and you've packed this suit and you're wearing it like really dressed up for the business meetings, this is the kind of thing that like if I were in a meeting and I had a meeting in the hotel, for instance, mm -hmm. just being able to put on this sweatshirt mm -hmm. that is so put together with it is it makes it so perfect for hotel breakfast meetings. Totally. When you're doing business, because sometimes like rolling out of bed and you you're just so full on like mm -hmm. boardroom vibe. But you're actually I mean I've seen hotel. I mean I've seen you do this. So like I can I can vouch that this like way of thinking is executed in real life. Yeah, like it's a real like this is a thing. What are you gonna wear for breakfast? You just don't wanna be all boardroomed out. I did want to show you guys on this jacket one thing that is really great too that mm, even if you're wearing a more proper top that you want to ease it out at night is the sleeves completely uh, you can unzip them like this and so on the runway someone sent me a picture and they were like is this the same jacket because it looks like she's wearing a vest mm -hmm. in the runway show and she wasn't she just had her sleeves out and probably not squishing up a sweatshirt under this but I would but. Yeah, well but you can if you want to um, so anyways you can see here that your arms can come out completely and or you can wear your like commandos <laughs> like I am thank you it's easy for trying on for our guys around here don't want to be <laughs> the whole like, do I need to see Amy <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, anyway so the sleeves do come out and especially if you turn this into like an evening moment I don't like it over a sweatshirt it's just a, like a little too much let me go put it over something that's not so yeah but that. I think for those of you that um, have invested in our uh, cashmere fundamental sweaters that um, are able to wrap around your neck and you're able to wear like one sleeve at a time this is a very very similar vibe so we should on the runway uh, the model was wearing a kind of is one of the yellow fundamental charlie shirts and then had her arms obviously through the um the zippers and the sleeve there so there is a lot of movement and i would equate that to the movement that you're getting from that cashmere top i think Ultimately, we just want to be able to provide options regardless of the setting that you're in and so that, you know, we're ready at a moment's so, notice. Oh, now she's going to pull up. Yeah, we're ready at a moment's notice. Well, and for the head to toe person. I mean, this, this, this is, is, this is the, like, if you're going to, if you're going to go, this is what you should be wearing. And what I love with this, the reason why I love this is head to toe is because obviously I'm going to break it up in so many ways. Totally. Like, this looks great with that black python skirt, mm -hmm. like. I'm going to build a million, million different outfits in here, but going out at night, you can definitely, like you get your arms here totally. coming out and you just, you know, it's really like a complete. Yeah. And I think each piece, like you said, like has its own unique, like idea. Whereas I think, and this is something like you wear this blazer with like your fundamental Stella pants. Yeah. Whereas like, so I feel like that, like that's where, you know, when people ask a lot of the time, like the difference in suiting from like main collection to fundamentals, and I think like they're used for different, for different things. Yeah, really. I mean, you, you just want to round out the wardrobe. So exactly where we're going to end this on, and I'm going to give you some pictures, but the good egg really has a nice breakdown here of how to think about long range planning in your closet. But if I had to sum this up, just remember, no matter what it is that you're buying, make sure that it works with either the CP principles or your own principles that you've come up with that you know tend to be the common denominators on what works or doesn't work in your closet. And it doesn't mean that you forego like the goosebumps. The goosebumps have to still be there. But I know a lot of you like are kind of goosebumps looking at this, like it's a goosebump moment, mm -hmm. but it's highly pragmatic at the same time. Totally. And um, pragmatism is good. Okay. And creativity is good. Together, 
It's the best. All right, guys. So, um, <laughs> well, we leave for Paris on Monday. I'm going to promise, but not super promise, that on Monday I might be doing a live from my own room of packing for Paris. I'm going to try to. Um, and then we'll see you on Wednesday. And uh, it'll be all good. So have a good, yeah, have a good life. <laughs> How do I, I mean, what do I say? Have a good life. <laughs> have a good life.